Hi, thanks for joining today's review. Uh, we're going to take a look at uh, an interesting uh, coach pack from Backman. It's the 39001 uh, coach pack. Uh, it's got two Mark I uh, British Rail coaches and um, they're uh, weathered and they're quite heavily weathered. Um, it's, uh, it's called the, uh, the works train, um, works test train, which would be a uh, a number of carriages which would be used to uh, to test uh, areas of the line for example um, so these these are coaches which would tend to be uncared for and uh, a little bit neglected uh, and that's what we've got here and um, and they're quite interesting so they're quite the, the the weathering on these is quite interesting and that's one of the reasons I purchased them so we're going to take a look at these a little bit more detail and uh, I also can kind of compare these to Another coach pack I've done a review on, which was the 39003, uh, which was uh, again British Rail Mark 1s. Uh, those had a branding of the Network Southeast and also had a, a level of weathering. And uh, in, the, in that case, they did have passengers installed. Uh, There's no passengers in these coaches, uh, which typically wouldn't be the case anyway in, in real life. Um, so I'll kind of we'll compare the two as well. So interesting to take a look at both of these uh, two coaches in the pack, and uh, so we're going to take them out of the box now, and uh, take a closer look and uh, see if there's something that you uh, might be interested in. Okay, talk to you in a minute. Okay, we've got the uh, two coaches out of the box now, uh, so we can take a closer look, and. Um, these are pretty well the same sort of standard you'd expect from any uh, Backman Mark I. Uh, there's good weight in the body of the coach there um, and a good overall uh, feel of quality. I think the roof uh, and the, the kind of weathering effect on the roof is, is actually quite interesting. Um, it's a kind of a corrosion effect of a, of a, of a roof and um, you can also see a kind of a rust effect in there as well around the little vent pieces there. You can maybe see that. Uh, and I actually, I actually quite like this. Uh, it's quite extreme, I suppose, uh, from a, a weathering perspective. Uh, but I, I kind of do like it, and um, uh, it's a, it's it's nice to get a coach uh, with this level of weathering um, uh, out of a standard, you know, as a standard uh, offering uh, from a vendor like Pacman. So, um, just looking over the weathering over the rest of the body. Um, there's, uh, I suppose, medium light to medium weathering on the underside and the bogies there. It's not, it's not too extreme, uh, just on the underside of the coach. Uh, there's kind of an interesting effect here, a kind of a blotching effect on the blue paintwork. You can maybe just about pick it up there. You might see it on the photographs a bit clearer, um, which is over the bottom there. Again, uh, showing a kind of a, an, an aged, uh, uh, uncared for effect of, of a coach. And uh, I think, again, a nice sort of added effect over the normal kind of weathering that you might get on, on a typical coach like this. Um, again, you've got some weathering of the, the, the doors there, that you can see, which again is quite nice. And uh, overall, I think it's, um, it's a nice effect. And um, I, I, when I purchased these, I kind of effectively purchased them as an alternative to getting coaches from the model center, who would, you know, you'd get some well weathered coaches there. Uh, but you you tend to pay for them, um, and this was a, a cheaper option for, for two uh, Mark ones like this. And again, similar weathering on the other coach, and, and you can see it there. See a kind of rust effect on the hinges of the door there also, which is another nice, uh, interesting piece. Um, and there's good detail on this coach. Um, there's you know again, it's up to scratch of any uh, uh, Mark One coach that you'd get from Backman in terms of the kind of detailing. Uh, the no smoking on some of the windows, uh, just going back to the era this was there, the, the various numbering and markings underneath there, which you can, you can kind of just about see. Um, so overall, uh, I, I am quite pleased. It's a nice coach. It's a nice running coach. Uh, it runs well, and uh, and you'll see that in the in the video. Uh, so overall, I think this is um, it's a nice pair of coaches. Um, and I've seen these uh, actually discounted. Uh, these were going at a discount from Hattons uh, recently. Uh, they're all sold out now at that sort of price level. Uh, I think I picked these ones up for about seventy pounds. Um, so thirty-five pounds for a you know a well weathered or heavily weathered coach, I think, is uh, is good value for money. So I was quite pleased with that, and I think you'll still see them on eBay for that sort of a, a price range. So that's, uh, that's this part of the review. Uh, we're going to take a look at these actually running now on, on a live system. 
uh, and actually see how, how they look and uh, kind of compare them to uh, the non-weathered coach and, and um, the alternative coach pack that I got from uh, from Backman, the old alternative one with the Network Southeast branding and the actual coach figures. So we'll take a look at that for a little while so that you can see the relative difference between these coaches and uh, those other ones and uh, and what you think of it. Uh, but uh, I think I've, uh, I'm pretty pleased with this. And as I said, um, it's good to get a closer look at this, actually, just to, to you know, it might appeal to everybody, this level of weathering. Uh, but I'm actually pretty pleased. And I have bought a second set of these uh, so that I can run a reasonable rake uh, with this kind of weathering on them. OK, let's, uh, let's break now and we'll take a look at uh, a short running session with these coaches. And uh, then we'll do our final summary. OK, thank you now. Okay, we're going to uh, get a look at these coaches now. You can see the first two coaches there on the rake are uh, coaches we're actually reviewing. Uh, the other coaches in this rake, uh, the third coach is a standard Mark 1 unweathered uh, from Batman. And the last two coaches are actually uh, the two coaches from the other coach pack I have reviewed, which is the 39003. Uh, they're weathered coaches as well, and they also contain passengers. So we we'll get... Um, some views here of the uh, of the two coaches we're looking at here just coming around uh, we've got a good up close look at them just passing through there now that's the unweathered coach and they're the two uh, 39003 coaches at the end so we'll get a look at the roof detail here as part of this uh, view of the layout you can just see it there a kind of a very uh, distinctive and uh, a lot a lot more distinctive than I suppose the normally weathered roof now, just in this sequence, um, the train is just pulling up at the station uh, for a brief moment. So we'll get a closer look uh, at the two coaches. And that's kind of, you get to see the roof there as well. And uh, all the, we'll just stick with this while all of the five coaches pass so that you can get a, a view of the relative difference of the, of the three different types of coach and how they look like. You can see the weathering at the end there and the gangway. And uh, it's the first coach just going past, and there's the second. And here we're into the unweathered coach. And then the two weathered coaches that actually have some character figures in them as well. Okay. So hopefully you got some use out of that particular uh, running session, just to get a look at what those coaches look like on a real layout. So we're going to come to the final summary here. Uh, this is the uh, Backman 39001 uh, Mark One coach pack, uh, also known as the Works uh, Test Train. That's uh, in the, the BR blue and grey livery. Uh, it's a two coach set. Uh, you've got a corridor second and a corridor composite uh, first second coach. Uh, as a weathered finish overall, I would describe it as a, a, a low to medium level of weathering, uh, but except for the roof, uh, which is uh, heavily weathered or a heavily uh, corroded effect on the roof. Uh, typical selling price for these is normally in the region of 60 to 95 pounds. They're still available from the retail channels for some, from some channels. Uh, though you may need to resort to uh, eBay if you're looking for this coach set and I'll say in that kind of 60 to 95 bracket um, In terms of the final comments, uh, I think that there's good overall weathering on these and uh, I, I do like the extra weathering effect on the roof It may be a bit much for some people uh, and that's fine And maybe you want to look at the other coach pack the 39003 if that's the case um, I would recommend it if you are looking for that type of, of weathering effect and and also if the price is right uh, really shouldn't be looking to spend more than about 65 pounds on on this particular coach pack set um, and uh, so watch out do a bit of shopping around and uh, hopefully you'll get it for that otherwise you can check out the 39003 that does sell for a slightly higher price but you do get the passengers in that uh, it's got a uh, it doesn't have the same extreme weathering on the roof uh, and uh, but does have an overall uh, weathering effect which is actually quite effective so uh, in summary this is this definitely worth a look and uh, and for somebody who is interested in this type of weathering or uh, who wants to have a, a representative test train uh, then this is definitely a, a good option to take a look at okay i uh, hope you enjoyed the review today uh, if you're not a subscriber please uh, hit the subscribe button i have lots more reviews coming up in the future uh, and uh, happy modeling until I talk to you on another one of these reviews. Okay, bye for now.